Okay, so I recently built a new computer and I installed a AMD Threadripper 3970X straight into the uh, Asus Zenith Extreme 2 Alpha version. And I immediately put two fans on this, um, this cooler, which is the Noctua NHU14S, because everyone said on the internet, oh, use two fans if you can, it'll keep it a lot cooler. So that's been working fine, but I actually, I actually thought today, what happens if I just use one fan and what kind of temperatures would I expect? So what I did next was I basically disabled one of the fans by taking the um, other fan out of the, out of the motherboard and then I ran some tests. Uh, we'll go over to the computer in just a minute and we'll show you what we've done. But basically speaking, I did two tests. One was a five minute Cinebench run um, to monitor average temperatures and maximum peaks. And another one was a 10 minute idle temperature test to see how it runs at idle just in Windows. So we'll go over to the computer now and I'll show you the results. Okay, so welcome back. So we've gone to the computer and we've got the results on the screen as you can see here. Now the left hand side is having the cooler with one fan and the right hand fan, the right hand side is having the cooler with two fans. Now the top left is basically what we did, we did an idle test. So we started up the computer, we did, we waited about a minute, then we ran HWinfo for about 10 minutes to get you know a nice broad range of data and we looked at idle tents took some screenshots, then recorded the results as you can see here. Now on the bottom results, we actually did a Cinebench five minute recording um, of um, HW Info, and we just put it on a loop, you know, normal stock settings, did it for five minutes, recorded the minimum maximum results, then worked out the averages just to see what the results were with one and two fans. Now going to the idle speed, the idle uh, attempt first, um, You'll see that um, there's a, we're looking at basically, we're going to look at the CPU, TCTL, TDI, TDI um, area. And we'll see that the maximum temperatures of 62.9 degrees C and the 68.9 degrees C on the two fan one. Now that was basically a spike, so we don't really know what's going on there. So we're just going to ignore the maximum temp because it, it only did it for an instant so I don't want to skew the results up but the interesting bit is the average uh, temperature with one fan was 51.5 degrees C and the average temperature with two fans was 48.2 degrees C so that's a good three degrees cooler so adding one additional fan um, I think it's quite worth it um, going on to the Cinebench um, like I said we ran it for five minutes and we see maximum temperatures using one fan, 87.3 degrees C, and maximum temperatures using two fans, 83.5 degrees C. Now that's a pretty good reduction. That means you've got a lot of headroom for overclocking if you want to. So you've got a bit of wiggle room if you want to basically use two fans to keep the temperatures lower. Now another interesting point was the average um, temperature setting of one fan was 74.1 degrees C, and two fans was 71.3 degrees C. Like I say, it's a good three degrees cooler. Now, I'm quite impressed with those results because adding additional fan with an air cooler, a 32 core processor, it's really tough to cool, but adding additional fan can keep it a little bit cooler for you. Um, now, I must point out that with the fans, we had the fans running at 100% and just to make it a fair test in, in all tests. And um, that was pretty much about it. Um, but like I say, look at the results. Um, if you want me to do more experiments with the, with the process and the motherboard or using two fans, one fans, different types of fans, more than happy to. So leave a comment in the section below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Cheers.